Oh, I am so glad we are hating on Ellen DeGen DeGeneres now because uh, I am something that I am what you would call homophobic <laughs> for legal reasons. That was a joke. Okay, but no, all jokes aside, I'm I, I don't know. Okay, I'm gay, so you can probably assume that I'm what you would uh, you'd normally categorize me as what we all like to call a messy bitch. And I I don't know. I kind of like like cancel culture and I know she's not gonna get canceled because she's like a white woman and she has like tons of followings from other white women so you know there's like there's no stopping them <laughs> but ugh, it's fun to find out that Ellen is a Karen and she's just shitty apparently but see the thing about this is that I'm not really sure if that's true because um do you remember like the whole Shane Dawson uh, uh thing with Chuck E. Cheese and and the pizza slices being like cut up all weird or whatever and people were like oh i'm an ex-employee from chuck e cheese and i can confirm that we did this and some people said they didn't and some like i don't know if i can check your credentials on twitter and you can like say that you were a, you worked there and like i don't think they put you on like the credits or anything like if you work as like a stagehand for ellen DeGeneres' show you know so i'm like i don't even think they have credit do they have credits i don't know but if they like i'm like that's the thing I, there's no, there's not really a good way of verifying whether what, what a lot of these people are claiming on Twitter is true. Like, you could be like, oh yes, I worked for her and she was a nightmare to work with, but I actually have no idea and no way to verifying that other than you saying, I worked with them. <coughs> and like, you could probably, <coughs> you could probably shop a couple of photos about that online anyways, because it's really easy to do that kind of stuff apparently. And like, since people believe the Chuck E. Cheese people who were like, yes, I was a former worker. And like, T channels were like, including those on their Twitter, or no, including those tweets on like the video. So I'm like, I'm not really sure if I can believe your credentials because you're saying that I did work there. Like, I'm like, there's no way of verifying that. So with those people, like, I don't know how whether I can trust them. And so, but given the beauty of um, Nikki Tutorials, I've never watched a video of hers except for the coming out video and the Lady Gaga video where she, like, did Lady Gaga's makeup. And before that, I'd actually never heard of her because I never really do, like, look at, um, what do you call it? The beauty guru world side of makeup because I, I don't really care about makeup. And I also hate the main people who are taking up space in the beauty community right now. Um, so I've never really kept up with any of that. And so I've never, I don't even think I've gotten recommended video t videos by Nikki Tutorials before then. So I don't know, I, I don't know what that was about. Why I got recommended them in the first place. But then came the scandal. And like, if you're not caught up, um, I, I'm surprised you're not caught up because I binge so much shit about all this. I, this quarantine has got me binging so much shit. <laughs> so much. I literally, I'm... I'm following T channels left and right. I'm I'm literally living for this. I I hope it's a messy quarantine, y'all. But why does my so I, this thing keeps falling down on the floor and it's a carpeted floor? Like stop falling. Um. But if you're not keeping up, Nikki Tutorials went on to another um, newscasting. I think it was a Dutch. I think it is like a Dutch broadcasting network. And she was like, Oh yeah. Well, um, I, like, I'm just, I'm, I just want to say that I have a better experience here, because she was like, I turned down, um, being interviewed by a lot of other people, and I have gave Ellen the exclusive one, because, you know, like, she, I think there was reason for it, uh, aside from being LGBT stuff or whatever, but she was like, oh yeah, I'm, I, like, I turned down other people, and I decided to do the interview with her. And she was like, but let's just say it's nicer here, and I'm like, oh, why is that? And Nikki was like, oh, well, um, well, like, you start off and you say, like, oh, it's, like, you say hi before the show, and, like, that's, it's, she didn't do that there. And apparently later it comes out, like, after she published something with a, a magazine, the Dutch magazine over there, it, she also said that, um, they didn't let her go to the bathroom because she wasn't, like, an A-list celebrity, and so they had, um, the Jonas Brothers were supposed to be on at another time, and so they had a booked, like, bathroom for them, and Nikki Totoro's didn't, and then she was like, oh, it's kind of weird because, like, my, um, my interview on, like, YouTube has, like, 8 million views, and there's had, like, 2 million, I think it was. And so she's like, you know, so it's just, like, no tea, no shade. And I'm like, fuck them up. Fuck them up. I'm here for... Okay, and so, like, everyone's, like, apparently, like, um, Ellen... So, like, back on, like, hating Ellen. Ellen is, like, apparently, what people are saying, she, um, is just shitty to her workers. If you smell, she'll have you, like, leave and take a shower. Um, she had this pregnant woman fired, and then she brought her back, and then she fired her with no reason. I don't remember, I don't remember, like, the consistencies of that story, that's like fucked. Um, uh, what else? Uh, apparently she has a sensitive nose, and like, she'll have you like chew mint gum before talking to her or whatever, and like, I'm like, okay, I'm like, look, how, oh, like, it's, 
you're a talk show host. Like, I don't think people care that much, you know? And, like, apparently it came out recently that she also said recently that she wasn't really liking doing the job and, and that some of the only people that really did or, or why she continues to do her um, talk show host thing thing is because her, like, wife is telling her to do it and someone else. I don't remember who it was. But she's, like, continuing to do the talk show thing even though she's her heart's not really in it anymore. And I'm like, okay, I guess that makes sense. Because I'm like, if you, I was doing the same show kind of thing for, like, years, I'd probably be tired of it. And, I mean, now that everyone hates her, this is crazy. This is crazy. Now it's coming out that she doesn't want to do it. And one thing, let me, let's go back into more. What, there's that, and uh, here's my personal, like, hating Ellen DeGeneres, because I never really watched Ellen DeGeneres as it is anyways. I've seen memes, I've seen, like, skits every now and then on YouTube, but I don't really care about Ellen DeGeneres, and I've never really watched her. I tried, I really tried to get into her, because I swear, I remember there was, like, a phase. It wasn't a phase, it was, like, six years ago. People were like, oh, I'm watching Ellen, or this and that. And, like, I haven't missed an episode of Ellen, or on Facebook, it would be, like, the Ellen show is having these people on tonight, or whatever. And I tried watching it once, and I was like, okay, this is nice, but I also don't care. Like, the only time I watch an Ellen show is on YouTube, and it's only if I'm, like, going through, um, social media, not social media, actors and actresses or people that are, like, I'm actually interested in and I like hearing about. If I'm already watching some of their interviews and the Ellen show one comes up, then I'm probably gonna watch the Ellen show. Just online. But, on TV, I never watched it. I tried, I really did. I really did. I couldn't, I, I have not watched more than one full episode. Ever. And I don't think I even watched the full episode. Like, I came back, like, switched between channels to go back and forth. But then, ah, uh, the beauty of being demonetized, or not demonetized, not having a large enough following to not get, um, likes and, or what is it, to not get monetization, is the fact that I can be like, hey, look, uh, I, ooh, quarantine is happening right now, you know, because of coronavirus and all that. And, uh, hmm. I'll probably pull up a picture here. Um, Ellen DeGeneres was like, oh, I see why people don't like this. It's like being in prison. Ellen DeGeneres, I could not, I, I wish I was in prison like you. Your fucking house is like the size of a mall or more. Are you kidding me? You're, oh, uh, are you, f are you joking me? I live, and we have, we are a family of four here, and we have, I am currently in the guest room. My siblings in another room. Each of these rooms has two beds. But that doesn't really mean anything, you know? Because, like, I'm all, I'm still in the guest room. And, like, you know, when we have family over, like, when uh, I was graduating, uh, we had family over, all the beds were occupied, and I was sleeping on the couch. Are you kidding me? And, like, we have, we have, like, two people on the couches, and we had to move one of the mattresses onto the floor here. And then, so, like, then we had an, an under mattress kind of thing on one of the other, like, bed frames. Like, Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen DeGeneres, are you joking me? I have one, two, three, four. Wait, I have a bathroom. We have three bedrooms, kind of. Kind of. I'm sure we could use this room. It's a small house. Our house is kind of shaped like a, mm, like the little Tetris Z piece, kind of. Like there's rooms and a bathroom, and then the other rooms, and then there's a little little tiny hallway that's like. I could lay down in like twice, like this way, long ways from like the bathroom. I could lay in it twice and then be in the living room already. Uh, and then a room on the side. I'll probably have to like draw a little crappy diagram or whatever. And then like the living room and then the kitchen. And that's it. And then, I mean, we have the garage too. But like this, are you kidding me? I'm bored as hell in my house. And I don't have what like probably a swimming pool, a bowling alley, a masseuse, like a fucking basketball court or shit like that. Are you kidding me? Your house is enormous. And you're like, oh, it's like prison. Are you kidding me? I wish. I, mm, I hate these people. I hate the sheer privilege of these people. It's disgusting. I'm, it's so annoying. Could you imagine actually being, one, filthy, stinking rich and complaining? And two, having, like, the privilege of just being in an enormously beautiful-ass house that's, like, absolutely disgustingly incredible beyond, like, anything any of us are ever going to see in our entire life. I could not even dream. I could not even begin to actually imagine. Even if my, in my most greediest, disgustingest, like, just self-engorging ideas of, like, a giant-ass house, I could never begin to imagine anything like the house, like, Ellen has. Are you joking me? Are you, oh my gosh. I, I, I don't even know what I would have, like, to me, a good, really nice house is probably, like, a two-story house, maybe, and a swimming pool. That, aside from that, I have no idea 
what I could imagine is like a really good, bougie, like enormous house. Like, I, to me, Walmart is huge, you know? And these people have houses way fucking bigger than that. What, what am I, what, what can I want here, you know? I, who's, who's winning here? Because I'm not winning. I'm losing this house. I'm bored as hell. Our internet is already trash. I literally, oh my gosh, our internet is trash. There's not, there's nothing to do with my house. And I'm, like, I've rewatched so much of the same shows that I have. I've rewatched like, a lot of the movies that I have on disc. And this chick has, like, I mean, one, she has, like, a job. She's still probably getting money just for being Ellen herself. Uh, two, she's rich and she doesn't have to worry about money. Um, but what else? What else? What else? I don't know. There's just so much. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I don't know. Read up on Ellen. Because there's, like, apparently she... She had a server who had, like, a chipped p part of her nail polish, and Ellen wanted to get her fired. Um, there's some hairdressers that do, like, the hair for the celebrities and everything, and they don't want to work with Ellen because apparently she's really crappy about it. Just, oof, I can't believe Ellen is a Karen. I, I can't believe it. But I guess that's it for now. I'm probably going to come back and uh, talk about other things here in a second, but bye. Bye. Hi, bye.